Probeer.tv here at the Rotsdorf Beer Festival and we are now with our friends from Artisan Beers. You guys do have a beer, but I don't have one. Um, what are we pouring here? Uh, we are pouring Hotel Victoria. It is uh, stout with buckwheat. So uh, buckwheat uh, is quite uncommon in, in beers. So uh, what is the reason to use uh, this in this beer? Um, first of all, uh, buckwheat is quite common uh, uh, grain which uh, Polish uh, using for uh, for eating. Okay. Uh, and uh, is giving uh, just to dry stout is giving, uh, uh, let's say, um, uh, getting smoother. It's, uh, the, the the beer is becoming very smooth, very uh, round, very nice. Uh, is not so dry like a normal dry uh, stout. You tried this before, Simon? I get the aroma. I just tried it just now, and um, I was absolutely amazed that there was no lactose added to this beer. It, it seems like there's lactose, but yeah. it's a natural, as my friend from Artisan said, it's 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 a natural buckwheat flavor. Oh, sorry, mouthfeel. Sorry. It smells like a milk stout. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really does. Wow. And it is not. And, and it is and not, yeah. That's the, that's the art. That's the art for me. Wow, it has a, like, kind of this velvet, smooth yes. mouthfeel. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Bready, toasty. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some toffee in there. It's a breadish aroma, breadish notes. Toasted biscuits. Yeah. The toasted like aroma, toasted, yeah, yeah, toasted like this, toasted bread, wow. and uh, maybe you you feel as well. You the, the the aroma is a little bit sweety, yeah, uh, brown sugar, the flour flour sweet flowers, yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, is absolutely. as well from that uh, that buckwheat. Yeah, but, but this this brown sugar, it's also in there. It's a very complex beer. It sounds so easy, but it's very complex in Amazing. for for a stout. 5.5 percent, no, no touch of alcohol yeah. in there at all. Where is it? Really, hold, hold 5 percent alcohol. Yeah, right. Wow. Oh, I, I'm very happy you and you enjoyed this beer. Yeah. Uh, so, as I, as I we kind of doing the, the video for Pro Beer TV, tell me about your brewing history. Yeah, um, our brewery we start uh, four years, five years ago. Uh, in one year we were uh, creating uh, our brewery completely done by us. Uh, what size is your brew house? Uh, the first uh, brew house, because now we have a new one, the first brew house was uh, uh, 1000 liters um, okay. single batch. And after, um, after uh, three years we changed the brew house, we bought uh, uh, one which is uh, normally uh, already professional uh, Good done, uh, uh, and it is uh, 30 hectoliters uh, single batch, and we have uh, CCT, CCT tanks uh, on um, uh, 60 hectoliters. We are doing two batches to, to, to one tank. Yeah. So business is quite going well for you. So if you have to change from 10 hectoliters to uh, three hectares yes. in two or three years, that's but what I is, call success. No, it, no, it is it is quite normal in Poland because. Uh, uh, we have now from from three, three years we have very strong beer revolution, yeah, yeah. Mm. with uh, about new uh, new for, uh, new uh, new beer, uh, modern uh, modern way of uh, of brewing, modern um, uh, modern um, kinds of beer, and uh, we 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 were the first. Five years ago, uh, we were the first together with Pinta and Alabrovar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have about uh, 100 uh, new breweries. Wow! In the in, in yeah. these three years, which uh, which opened, amazing, yeah. Amazing. That's what, that's what you see. These people here, you see, uh, there is a lot of people which are interesting about uh, beer. They like. And it is uh, every every year more and more and more, yeah. That's what, what we found out, that uh, there's a huge craft beer scene in Poland, uh, they have excellent beers, but outside of Poland, I come from, from Germany and I now live in Austria, people do not really know anything about the, the Polish craft beer scene, which is a real shame. I don't know. Uh, first of all, uh, we are still uh, very small and we are doing very fresh beer. Yeah. Uh, mainly they are IPAs, uh, they are pale ales, 
which are uh, very hoppy and they must be drunk uh, very fresh. It will be not easy to, to make, make exportation, to, to put this beer in the chain of uh, distribution and so on and so on. Yeah? Then we are selling everything uh, uh, in, in our market and it is uh, maybe such a festivals like uh, this festival of Wrocław or Warsaw Beer Festival which are uh, uh, working just to, 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 to make uh, uh, come uh, people from, uh, from abroad just to see, just to know this, uh, this uh, yeah. beer and uh, just to see this craft uh, beer revolution. This is my third year in a row and, I, and yeah. I, I, I just love the culture, the people, the beer. Um, but I have a question for yourself and that is with the hundred breweries that have now opened is there capacity can people is there enough for each brewery to survive a hundred breweries or do you think some breweries will close no i don't think so i think uh, they will uh, they will still uh, grow the market will uh, the market is growing uh, breweries are uh, are growing and the uh, most important thing they are uh, mm, going up with the quality every year because you know brewery is opening it is small crowd brewery not everything is going uh, good uh, every time but in few months in 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 in, uh, in one year uh, everyone is going up with the quality and then it means there will be still uh, i think there is still space for for uh, another 100 of brewers really? yeah wow. for sure wow. okay. do, do, do you have any idea uh, what the market share of so-called craft beer is here in poland it's very small because we are yeah. uh, there is quite a lot of breweries everyone is doing a lot of beer because people has a lot of ideas uh, last year we had uh, about uh, more of 1,000 new beers appearing wow. in the that year. That's incredible. It that's means, huge. Yeah, that's really yeah. huge. You, it means yeah. you, you have yeah. a yeah. premiere of, of, yeah, yeah. of beer uh, each day. Yeah, yeah. Two, f two, two, two free premier premieres of, uh, of beer. Yeah? To, to, to give it in comparison, in Austria at the moment, we have around 1,000 different beers uh, in total in the whole country. So uh, Poland released. Uh, all the beers that we have in Austria at the moment in just one year. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it is about creativity, yeah? Yeah, amazing, amazing. which uh, our brewers are very, very creative. And the market is very hot. And just the, the people, they, they push to, 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 to have every time something new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, are, they are really hungry about uh, new beers absolutely every time absolutely and but yeah and, judging by the festival it's and the breweries nice. deliver good new beers they deliver yeah. creative beers i've and never seen a festival with so many different beer styles creative beer we had a mushroom beer yesterday yeah. we had beer uh with the uh, strawberries it's yeah. really really amazing what what the the polish beer scene develops so thank you very much for having me and thank you hope to see you next year yes for yeah. sure and cheers. you must cheers. You must go, uh, come as well to to Warsaw to Warsaw yeah, yeah. Festival. Yeah. Thomas told me we'll, we'll organize it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll be in October. Check out Pro Beer TV. Check out Relay Craft Beer, and of Thanks. course, check Artisan Beers. Uh, check out their website. See, I'll put the links in the comment box. See you. Bye. Cheers. cheers. Bye.